I'm Catherine Mortimer, I'm the head gardener here at Paynton Zoo Environmental Park. We have a duty to promote sustainable uses of resources and we want to highlight some of the new technology that's coming through into horticulture and into crop production. This is a type of hydroponic growing system and you have multiple layers of plants to maximise the space for cultivation. The top trays are going to get the maximum light. The lower trays, particularly the bottom ones, are very shaded. But by it moving, that opens up the trays to different angles of sunlight. This system's great to have in the zoo because we're growing the crops here. They go straight out the same day to the animals. They're not refrigerated at all, so they have all those sugars really intense and really sweet. The plants are growing in a bath of water. This water is changed um, each time the crop's watered, um, which allows fresh nutrients and oxygenated water to go in. If an animal's got a nutrient deficiency, rather than giving it chemical-made um, supplements, we can supplement them directly through their food, which is much less invasive. This is where we find out about the different nutrients, the electrical conductivity levels, that's what controls the mixture of the nutrients. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm down here checking on the watering levels, that the temperatures and everything are maintained to the correct levels. And then it's making sure that there's no diseases. The sooner you can spot that something's going wrong, the better. The crop that's coming around now is um, a variety of chard called Bright Lights. I'm quite interested to find out whether the animals respond to the bright colours in the stem. Quite often with the apes you see that they'll go for the carrots and the, the orange um, and I'll be quite interested to see when we feed that will they respond in the same way because it's a colour stimulant. I've already had inquiries from the keepers that look after the tapirs. And they come from South America and one of their main staple foods is a plant called the water hyacinth which is a semi-aquatic plant. You can't buy that, or you can buy it from garden centres, it's about a pound for a little plant. We could grow it on this system in the summer, and we could produce thousands of them, but it's much more akin to their natural, well, it is their natural diet in the wild. This is Rocket that we're 